Oh, that dog just got shot. <laughs> Retro horse, my mother's not in the chat today. Retro horse, oh my gosh. Oh, okay, they're not dark over things. Then you die. Banned! Banned! Okay. Oh, Jesus, this is heavy. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a, it's a sturdy base to hold the microphone up. Hey, don't you be holding my cock back there. I'm moving your cock. He's grabbing my giant cock, everyone. Oh, no. Oh, is this not the one I'm looking for? having <laughs> multiple memory cards. <laughs> yeah, the, and the memory cards degrade over time. You got Twitch chat over there? Yep. I probably do some laundry. Ah, that way. is what I'm looking for. That's the, the gold is a new game plus. Oh nice. You play new game plus? Yeah. The main difference is the enemies are stronger and the the game starts you out with an ass load of ammo. But you don't have any of the attachments, so you still have to hunt them down. Oh, okay. But it does make some of the uh, uh, earlier bosses a bit easier as well. But the Dennis here. This is Roger. Where are you? Look up. There's a ventilation shaft up here. It should lead into the compound. You need to get up here. Come on. This icy cliff looks impossible. You'll have to find a way around it. Just follow my directions. First, activate the elevator. First Got it. cock and ball torture kit now with instructional CD. Oh my gosh. Cock and ball torture. Oh. Wait, we aren't getting drunk today. I need to take that off. Death counter be gone. Drunken bits be gone. Oh uh, yeah, you don't want that. That's for tomorrow. Oh yeah, you're getting yeah, I've decided to make it a once a week sort of thing instead of how I was just doing it a bunch. Yeah. So I'm just gonna make it a drunk souls once a week. Oh, you're specifically Well, I can't stream Resident Evil 2 now because of a certain whore. But like I said, you could use mine anytime you want. It's legitimately not the same. Boy! It's legitimately not the same. Remember, it's missing a complete mode. I mean, I actually did like playing extreme battle, especially after completing one, uh, one game while drunk, you know? So, with this game, uh, uh, I played Extermination up to after you, you crossed a bridge, is where I stopped. Also, got a good amount of healing, it starts you off with a decent amount of healing items. <laughs> Yeah. I I know, same with the ammo. That oh that map was weird. I thought that was like some sort of weird texture glitch or something. No. I think just like that yellow line's just pointing out the area you're in. Hmm. That red triangle is us. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's dangerous. Always cut people. Unless you like getting shot in the face. But that will turn back on later. Once the power gets turned on. Still, 
not a big fan of the microphone being all the way up there, but... One thing I did like about this game, you didn't see a lot of war games though, is like the parkour system. Like the fact you could climb and parkour. Yeah, and, yeah. like the, so a lot of things were, had climbing elements you had to interact with. Like uh, an ice cliff or you know, uh, like a sledge you shimmy across, stuff like that. Jump up here. There's no point to it. And that's part of the fun. Seeing what, what silly things you can do in this game. So, the game also, so let's see what else. What ammo do we have? SPR4. Okay, they start us off with 50 shotgun shells. 30 grenades, 1,000 units of fuel, and 25 rockets. No guarantee I'll get the rocket launcher though, just because you have to go out of your way to hunt down the parts for it. I probably should though, because that final boss is a bitch without it. You can do it, but it'll kick your ass the entire way. From oh, there, hi, walk across the gas pipe to the other side. Just like the way we did it in training, huh? Haha. <laughs> You said it. Okay, now hurry up. You have to find Cindy. We have to get inside ASAP. I'm freezing my ass off waiting for you. Be careful. One false step and you'll be in big trouble. They won't find your body till the poles melt. <laughs> Thanks. After you cross the pipes, there are two places you need to jump. You're more nimble than I am, so it should be a piece of cake for you. It's near it. the ventilation shaft? While I was waiting, I was watching how this fan works. It spins for three seconds and stops for two seconds. But with the inertia, it's only clear for one second. Timing needs to be perfect. You'd better go ahead. Me first, huh? I'll go once you're safely in. You're good at this kind of stuff, aren't you? this place no this place looks like a battlefield what the hell yes two could this looks bad just doesn't feel right your instincts are still sharp huh it's kept me alive so far 
Let's look around. There may be some survivors, so, yeah. including It was, a, it was actually used the, before the PS2 came out as a... So it's a, a, as a title. Yeah, it's showed off Let's check out what PS2 we can. Came out, actually, we'll start here. Cover me. Shit to show what it, the system was capable of doing. Because like, this is a special launch title, especially. This is look dated now, though. Well, yeah, but I mean, any old game... Even Melius all too. No one here. Yeah. I'll take a look around. You check out the corridor. Okay. Yeah, time marches on. It's not like I've been one to let uh, old age graphics stop me from enjoying the game. That explains how to use the save terminals. That's another thing I miss about old war is just save systems. I fucking hate like when games give you unlimited saves as much as you want. Like when it's in a horror game. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Well, it's oh, one of those. There we go. Yeah, see, it's, see, it's one of those like saline ba IV yeah, bags. Yeah, The first time I saw it, I thought it was like a bag of popcorn or something. Also, another way to tell the game's old. Mm -hmm. It's got the Red Cross. Oh yeah! <laughs> After a certain year, uh, freaking uh, what, what's the name? American Red Cross. Yeah, they got a little touchy about people using gay, uh, that logo in games. Yeah, they didn't want to be associated with violence, so they had to. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's still in Call of Duty Big Red 1, which came out in 2005. But then again, that was more for the historical accuracy, because that's when the, it started being won by combat enemies. Yeah, but I'm just kind of happy to guess. They stopped doing it? I would do. I don't know. I don't know. They stopped doing it. Little hidden saber. Cindy was shot Roger from up there. Yeah, yeah. You actually go up there and you 
can see him laying. So it's not just so it's not just an area that's out of bounds. But... Yeah, you actually go through there because you have to go through there to unlock uh, the way out of this building. Yeah, it's, it's kind of nice to makes the What's up? Feel more Look, like it's a drawbridge. Building, you know? The map shows that the rendezvous point, that's Building B, is on the other side. We need to lower that drawbridge. We should regroup and find out what's going on as soon as possible. Right. Okay. What did you find out? Shit's on fire, yo. Basically. Drinks from my, my mason jar. This is fine. Yeah. I gotta say though, the controls play pretty smooth though for this whole game too. I said I gotta say the controls play pretty smooth, also slide. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, are you able to do that quick? Well, yeah, because it's fully 3D moving, you can spin in circles. Oh, oh. it's not. Fully 3D movement. Yeah, camera angles. And hell, you guys can fully control the camera, too. And first person. Fight and fight. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I was kind of amazed about that. Yeah. Be able to move around in first person? Bro? No, you, I don't think you can move around in third person, but you can get fine. You know, like, you know the green glowing points on enemies? Yeah. You can use first person to nail them. This is Dennis. Raj here. Something's down here. I can feel it. Me too. Be on guard. If we can get the power back on, I can activate the drawbridge. A circuit breaker is probably out. There should be a transformer room somewhere. Where are you now? First you send me through that fan, and now this? Hey, you know me, right? Remember the gorilla fighters in the fields of Cambodia? If I hadn't been there, you'd be... I would have been dead meat, right? Yeah, yeah, I've heard enough of that story. Okay, when we get back, I'll buy you a drink. So, well, would it be wrong to loot his body? Wallet when he dies. He just off and he just oh yeah, that's a Wait, wait. Huh? Oh yeah, those are the bugs. Yeah, they're. I do like when the gun gets close to them though; it locks hold of them. We, we will be safe. Cause we have all in sight. Yeah, he's got Twitch Prime. Actually, you know what's another unique thing I like about this game? No, but it's the is the infection system. Yeah, so that's one thing I actually do remember is like if you get like attacked by an enemy, if you don't deal with it right away, you kind of get infected over time. But yeah, it's like infections uh, dangerous because. And the worse it is, it it picks up. Well, yeah, it basically starts snowballing. Once you get a little infection, you become more susceptible to it. Yeah. And. If it hits 100%, a giant cyst growth grows out of your oh, back. Geez. And you have to run, and your health starts draining over time. So you have to, you know the vaccine stations? You have to, you have to run to the, the closest vaccine station. You know what it took me years to learn? You can click the left stick to reload. Yeah, you put L3. That is the weirdest thing. Yeah, it is strange. That's why I didn't learn it. You know, actually, I think it's... Yeah. You got full button controls. Yeah. Actually, it doesn't seem to be listed. <laughs> What's not listed? Ah, uh, the reload. 
Oh, wow. That's... But it shows the button is used for something. Wait. <laughs> are, you, are you sure? Is that an oversight? Could be. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> One of these has buttons. Are you one. sure? You want to test it out? I mean, I can. I don't. Yep. Yep. Bugs! Bugs! They're crawling for my skin! Alright, I'll see you later, Anu. Thanks for popping in, anyways. Grab this needle. It's a vaccine. Well, it's a booster shot. So the booster shots heal health and infection, but if you hit 100%, they won't do it. They won't, uh, they'll heal your health, but they won't fight the infection. Oh, I get you. Hey, Black Cat. Yeah, once you hit 100%, you have to, um, uh, what's it called? You have to go to, um, uh, a vaccine station to cure the, the thing before it kills you. Even now, I've become infected. My cells are being taken over just like everyone else. It's hard to accept that this is the end. My whole body's in excruciating pain, and water makes the pain worse. Oh, wow. It break yeah, it, it, it must be accelerating the breakdown of the cells. This makes me sick to think that the sound those things make, that and the unbearable smell of the slimy liquid that they spit out. Who would have thought that they would be multiplying like this in such a short time? No matter how many you kill, they just keep coming. I'm tired of running. I just want the rest right here. But what are they? What are they? The bugs. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was talking about something else. The bugs are the primary start point for the infection. I mean, they get hot, stronger, but uh, the infection form... Yes, they do, but basically if they dr come into contact with more infected water, it causes them to go into a mutation state that makes them bigger, stronger, more aggressive. Yeah. Here's what I'm looking for. Uh, selective. I will swap the three round burst. I like three round burst better. Alright, this game also uh, incentivizes exploration. Yeah, well, yeah. the nice thing is, you know, like your assault rifle has infinite ammo. Yeah. But you look, uh, the find, but if you look throughout the game, you can find more magazines. Yeah. Also, that's part of the blood force system right there. Yeah. And you don't want to destroy that. See how that box is moving? Oh yeah, I see it. That's how you can tell which boxes are filled with bugs. That's a nice detail. Wall shimmy. For a moment I thought this was metal gear. Yeah, it's got that color scheme, doesn't it? It looks like it. If only we had that shotgun unit that was delivered a week ago. That gives you basically a little hint that there's a shotgun yeah. attachment. Then we can easily blow away these overgrown cockroaches. Where the hell did it go? Mmm. Either way, he was delicious. Oh yeah. What? Oh yeah, there's only half a ladder. I think I'll take some fall damage. I mean, it's a quicker way down, plus there's plenty of healing items around here. Yeah, now you can destroy the box, saw uh, to get up. Is there anything inside them? I just... Yep, a 
Oh, that one had bugs. And a med pack. The world's tiniest hop. <laughs> oh yeah, this actually, this area becomes a boss arena later. Yeah, this area becomes a boss arena, and you have to get a key card to get into that. Well, you come back here with a key card to get in that door. And that door has a key. The, you see that train right there? You, you start your train up. Yeah, it's basically the key to uh, fire this thing up. Uh, well, 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 that key opens the door where the key is stored. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, it's basically what lets you fire up the train. And you just go that way somewhere. I think that way. I'm not 100% certain. You don't wipe them. There's boxes and shit everywhere. Also, no, 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 no. Man, you can see the bugs are stronger than normal. Normally, they only take three shots. Their health is about double. Also, I like the fact that you can break locks. You don't have to just find keys. Yeah. But it also adds a bit of a panic too. It's like, oh fuck, can't get the break, break. Yeah. A sliding device for train maintenance. Yeah, you use that to climb up. Yeah. Also though, but I'm, I'm sure you probably missed this. What did I miss? Uh, where that train was sitting, there's a little vent. Coming here to flip the power on. Yeah. And then this, this is when you have to get, get out of there and go. Yep. That's as much as the game as I have. Way to go, Dennis. Now we can get to the rendezvous point. Roger's so incompetent, though. Sounds like it. Well, he has a bat. It's just like, how are you? Oh, no, no, no. It's just like, how did you manage to survive this long in the morning? Those little fire parts are not bad. Yeah, more as a more launch system. Also, I like the fact that this is a bit of a, you know. Atmosphere, but you know what I mean. Basically, atmospheric clue that shit's not gonna go well. Sparks, drums, very dangerous. Very kaboom, much bang.
And that's why in a fire, you want to be very careful when you open doors. Because oh, yeah? they can blast. Because basically, a, when you open a door, it'll cause a sudden rush of air, which will ignite and basically shoot a fireball out that door. Oh, jeez. It's called a backdraft. Yeah. It's kill, kill a lot of firefighters. here what happened to my partner yep. wrong place at the wrong time it wouldn't help even if I told you just leave here this area will be taken over any moment now taken by who take this Like if you aren't careful, Use it. If you, aren't if you don't want to end up like your friends, the, the antibodies will temporarily ward off infection. Infection? You'll find the survivors and your friends in ground facility building B. Get to them as soon as you can and go back home. Even a brave marine needs to know when to run. Hey, wait. Who are you? What happened here? Tell me. Damn it! Roger. I can't believe this. Who has better hair? Him or Titus? <laughs> There's the magazine. Oh. Oh, I ain't going like this. Hit me with infection. I feel tired. <laughs> but yeah. Twitchy. Yeah. Look at his face. Yeah. yeah. His eyes are green. This was a kind of cool thing. You could customize your gun. Oh, you can customize your gun? Yeah. Well, yeah, you could, uh, this is the selector. So you could swap it from single, three round, and later you'll get a full auto attachment. Dang. Also, there's the lower gun. Basically, you could swap this out with a flamethrower, a rocket launcher, a grenade launcher, a shotgun. Oh, nice. Uh,. This is your scope. You can change it to a night vision or a four time or a zoom. So you basically only have one gun. You just put attachments on it. Yep. But here's the nice thing. You can still fire it normally 
you press another button to fire the alternate fire. Mm. Also, there's this upper mount right here, which uh, has specialty features. There's uh, there's one that makes the auto lock better. There's one that makes the uh, that gives you basically like an enemy radar that lets you know where enemies are in the environment and stuff like that. Uh, pretty cool stuff. The drawbridge went back up. I can't go back there. That's because you didn't. They only show up once you get past this bridge. Uh, yeah, you go back here to the supply room. Grab yourself another needle to stick yourself with. And that uh, explains how this system works. Basically, this ammo storage box will reload all of your magazines to capacity. So you do have unlimited assault rifle ammo. But if you fire willy-nilly, you do run the risk of running out in an area and basically having the whole ass to either the closest or pressing one and hoping to press your luck. This is a battery recharger. Everything. Opening doors, using the save system, so it works like ink ribbons. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have to make sure you... Keep, uh, your, you know, keep your batteries charged or else you might get locked out of a door and you'll have to go all the way back. Never said it was forgiving. But the, the offset this, there is plentiful recharge stations. Like, most save rooms have one. Yeah, like, most save rooms uh, will have one. Yeah. That you can just keep, you can go back to and use. Ooh, four needles! My goodness! This must be the junkie face! not been home. That's why you haven't heard about from my cat plays recently. I'm not I'm currently not there for reasons I'd like to not discuss right now. That phone seems to be coming in a little He's like off the wall, go up, go up the wall, go on the ceiling, fly off, and if that same spot, keep going. It's okay. That's why we have drugs. That's why we're junkies. We just stick ourselves with needles. Out of it. Yeah. Oh, man, 
Yeah, I was actually really tired before the stream. I'm feeling better now. Might have just been because I've been sitting there doing survey after survey. Yep. But that, doing just that over and over will fucking make you feel bored. Talking about the, how fast the bugs are reproducing. Actually, that was the guy we found earlier, of course. I, I find it funny, you find his logs in reverse order. You find his last log first, and then as you go throughout the game, you find more of his. Now then, are you ready to go off the, cra the rails or the crazy train? I said this game could possibly have been a source of inspiration for Dead Space because of grotesque shit like that. That's a flesh tray. That's some of the shit you'd see lost in Vivo. Yeah, the It's like, ah, oh, no, 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 no. Surprise his hair is that long without anyone. Oh! Who's shooting at me? Which one of you fucks is shooting goo at me? What? Ooh, a box! Mad kid! There you are! You son of a bitch! Die, you little shit. Yeah, um, his hair is long. That he actually has shorter hair in the other version. Uh, but the US model has a completely different model and voice acting than the uh the European version. That's so weird. What? Uh, I was just Oh, about the voice acting being different? Yeah. Well, that's because the US team wasn't happy with the um, Europeans' quality. I've shown you how bad the European version was. I think you did. Wait, there's a point when in the game when they literally slow down the character's voice where it sounds like, oh, you know, like, you can hear the manipulation. It's just, 
low and sounds like someone's lagging in real life. Oh dear. Yeah, it's like they literally slowed it down to match the lip sync. That so that's why they completely redid the <laughs> audio, just because it's like this voice acting sucks. We could tell the story better. Plus, it was kind of weird to have U.S. Marines have British accents and shit. Yeah, it's like, so that was strange as fuck as well. Yeah, we got this door open now. I'm gonna go refill my battery and ammo. Secret uh, in this game, uh, items. Uh, the event I these dog tags. So every character, every character of your team has a dog tag, and you can find their corpses and shit throughout the game, right? Yeah. So, uh, if you find all the dog tags, you get uh, a special bonus. When you uh, on the next new game plus, Dang. I think it starts you with the rocket launcher and all the attachments and shit. Dang. Yeah, but to compensate these, are, there's like 13 or 15 of them that are hard to find. Like I found one right there, but that one's an early one. Closer look at it. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, but I like that early body order for right there. But you know where, uh, like with Roger, how that cutscene and ribcage literally exploded open. Yeah. Like that was pretty cool for 2000. <laughs> Examples of true body horror, though, in a lot of older horror games. Yeah. I guess I mean, Evil was probably the first, but. Yeah. I mean, System Shock 2 had some body horror. I still need to play that. It's pretty good. I would help. If you ever want to play it, uh, I'll help you out with it. It can be a hard game for you. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, most of these old retro games can be. Yeah. Especially when people can't look past the graphics. Yeah. We could sit down here and get stuck with the needle. That's the vaccine station. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are the, uh, basically, if you get back together, go to the closest one. Well, whichever one you could find and... Don't you have stuff on? Yeah, but if you hit a hundred percent, you uh, the uh, vaccines can only be administered by those patients. Gotcha. Like there's a special procedure or whatever in game. Uh, in, in the lore reason that it has to be done through the machine. But yeah, I don't know exactly why. But okay, good. I did reload my. Game. Yeah, the booster, the other ones are booster shots. If you use them before, you hit a hundred percent. Emergency security lockdown activated. We're commencing shutdown sequence for level one lab research area access. Hey, wait a second. Isn't that... Yeah. I said it.
Yeah, it's like supposed to be a long play mixed in with the thumb. Hey, you're that girl from before. So I'm trying to get to building B. How do I get there? You're still here? Uh, Use the elevator. The elevator? Window. What elevator? You can reach the ground facility by using that freight elevator. How do I activate it? What's this? It's the security code to unlock this door. Type it into the command center's computer. Then what? Yeah. I'll give you what you need to operate the elevator. Get to the ground yeah, level, find your friends, and side. get out of here. Hey! Ever since those overgrown cockroaches showered me with that stinky green liquid they spit out, my back is in extreme pain like something stabbing me from inside has developed some kind of boil. And like I mentioned to you earlier. Oh yeah, the cyst. Yeah, like uh, now every time my skin touches water, an intense prickling pain runs through my body. What's wrong with me? There used to be so many scientists around the facility, but now you can't find one. The, sci the security officers won't say a thing. It's some damn conspiracy. Something big must have happened. I knew I, I shouldn't have came to a classified base in the middle of nowhere. Too late for regrets now. Yep. Like, well, shit look good, man. Freeze it and basically fucks the entire base. No, no bugs! Ooh, shotgun shells, though. I get some bugs, but I get some shotgun shells, too. Oh, do I have the flashlight on? There we go. <laughs> it doesn't just illuminate the whole entire room in front of you. Unless it's a really bright flashlight. Like, it's possible, but it takes a really bright light.
sound. This morning I woke up to the sound of something crawling in the ceiling. It couldn't be a mouse. None could survive and breed in the extreme cold of the Antarctic. What was it? Now I can hear it more clearly. It sounds like some sort of slime oozing and there's a low sickening groan. Like funny enough, that thing makes a groaning sound when you get near it. Alright, see you later, Black Cat. Because if you get too close to it, also, my buddy's down there. Oh, he's there. Yep, but when you come back through here the next time, he's gone. Roger. Damn it. How could this happen? Yeah, that's a The best with PS2 render. Actually, the PS2 was capable of 720 uh, But uh, only like a small group of the games took advantage of that. And funny enough, one of them was Jackass. Oh my gosh, really? Yes. Also, did I ever tell you Jackass owns. Uh, Record for being the, the, one of the best, if not the best, for you. You know why? Because it's one of the only ones filled with an actual 3D camera. While all the other 3D movies outside of Avatar are basically um, edited in post production to be 3D. That's why a lot of 3D movies look like garbage. Yeah. It's because they aren't real 3D. It's just the image of the double. Yeah, but the Jackass movie, they actually shot it with a 3D camera. That's why that scene where they shoot a dildo at the camera looks like there's actually a dildo flying at your face. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of sad when Jackass makes like, Ah, uh, better movie than... Ah, uh, better 3D than all of all of This is a magazine? Magazine!
got it on my phone idea. What's going on in chat? Uh, none much. Ah, uh, Black Cat left. Ah. Uh. And Inu had no date, well, bad date of reception. Ah. Uh. Five. One. Two. Zero. Four. Seven. Nine. One. Dang, that's a long code. Yeah. Oh, you can look at the the thing again. Yeah. Uh, it'll it'll be backwards if you weren't paying attention to the sh in the screen. So you'll have to uh, basically figure out the numbers in reverse. Save terminal, always useful. Also, I find it funny that the the hour the timer doesn't reset between new game plus runs. So it's just like the time it gets longer and longer. It's strange. Yeah, it's a strange decision. Well, I guess if you're trying to... If you were just playing one run and you wanted to know how much time you put into the game, into the game forever, I guess that would work. Yeah. Outside of death resets. Foxes! That one fell down and shattered. That bug fled. He fled for his tiny life. More needles. We don't need any more needles. I want more needles. They're bad for you. You can call me Needles Kane. You can say I'm also pretty twisted. than you. <laughs> you may listen to more metal music than you the first time, but not more metal music. And you're like, well, fuck, you got me there. So this is a quick way back without dealing with the pipe. Anyways, gotta use the bathroom.
fucking hate that thing. It's like sensitive sometimes. Yeah. It's all fucked up, yo. Yeah, we're back. Absorb your persona. Biomass everywhere. <laughs> oh, yes. An asshole joint come out of that door. Yeah, it's a big old crater filled with water. Box of shotgun shells. You don't have a shotgun though. Not for long. Hey, that's the scope. Long thing. That's my night. Yes, this changes the zoom. I mean the first person into a scope. It also zooms in. There she is! Shoots her in the back. Cutscene time? Yep, cutscene time. So, oh, you got out job. okay. It was you, Cindy? I've been worried about you. I haven't been able to contact you ever since that day. Dennis, is it really just a coincidence that you're here? Regardless. I don't have anything left to say to you. Just leave me alone. I don't know if that's a game issue or a dis I knew you were here before I came. I was concerned for your safety. Man, don't you like, realize you what you did? I'm telling you, I have nothing that's more to say. When you buy used. Cindy, this is no time to fight. Let's talk about that later. What on earth happened to this place? What's going on down here? Why did the military send your team in instead of just bombing this place? Don't they know what's going on here? Even brave soldiers like you won't be able to get this situation under control. The Pentagon misjudged this one. How do these monsters fit in? This could be the beginning of the end of the world as we know it. The worst scenario that mankind has ever faced just began. There will be no future for us if we don't act. Yeah. Hurry up and get to ground facility building B. Go back home with your friends and tell your military that their dirty little plan has become a nightmare. This facility needs to be completely wiped out. What about you? I still have something to finish here. Let me give you this. Use it to activate the underground storage elevator. The elevator will take you to ground level. Like, they don't have now go. If you want to find the rest of your team. Dennis. About Roger. I'm sorry. I... I know. It doesn't seem real. Cindy, I'll wait for you to make it safely back to building B. It had a proper soundtrack. Alpha key card. Shotgun. Nice. Yep, you go to here. You can swap.
swap it out. But I'm not gonna swap it yet. Not yet. Yeah, cause you also we just got a key card. I'm gonna go back to that key card. Yeah, the key card opens that door, but if you were paying attention or if you were exploring, there's a ladder in this dark hallway, and at the top of the ladder is a lock, a key card door. Oh, wow. with, uh, with a bunch of shotgun shells, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I can't say it's a perfect game, but it's certainly. Also, why I like the 90s and, and early 2000s for horror, though, is because they all they weren't afraid to experiment with their games, you know. I like like a lot of the horror games that you do see are extremely repetitive, like Outlast and Outlast 2, or Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. That entire series is extremely repetitive. Relying yeah, yeah. on one gimmick. Plus the fact that they put out five games in like two years. Yeah, like quite... I tried the first one. Yeah, because it's jump scare simulator of the game. Yeah. Ooh, booster shot. Call me Booster Gold. Yeah, there's like, there's a couple rooms like this just hidden throughout the base with key cards that if you come back to them at the later point when you have the card, you can get a large amount of supplies. Oh, hello, dickhead. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, what, it's rewards exploration. Hey, you dick. Yeah, without... Also incentivizes you to uh, face, like saying that one where it's hidden in a dark area where you have to fucking either be constantly flipping the light on or just, you know, winging it. But yeah, once we use the key on this door, it'll trigger the boss. So I'm gonna go and refill my ammo first. Also. Equip that shotgun. I believe square fire. Yeah, square fire. My shotgun just got long. I mean, my assault rifle just got longer. Why is that? Because you can oh, see. Oh yeah, I see it now. Yeah, because it just attached a, a underbarrel shotgun. That's actually how a master key looks. It uses a universal rail system that allows it to uh, basically just slide on, and then once you got it in place, you tighten it down on a universal rail system. Yeah, that's why the AR is so popular, is because you can customize the shit out of it. We've got a lot of vaccines. I always have like 15 of them by the end of the game. I'm gonna just stick myself with a needle. Get rid of that 45% infection. Go through here. Grab the uh. Grab some ammo. Then we'll go deal with Dickhead the monster. Ooh, 450 rounds. Yeah, I think the game in the base game starts you out with 180. Yeah. So like six clips. While uh, this game, while New Game Plus starts you out with 10, which is 300. A 
let's go blast this shithead. Oh, there's also dodging and roll. You can dodge enemies. You can roll. If an enemy attacks you, you press the button at the right time, you can roll out of the way. Oh, well, that's pretty handy. That would be useful in certain situations. Well, yes, like, especially with melee enemies. Give them a Dark Souls roll. I do kind of like how they introduced this enemy too. so you don't cheese the shit out of them. How, yeah, I forgot. New game plus, everything hits harder. Oh, wow. That makes sense, though. You got more items in you. There he goes. Because he melts away. That was fast. I mean, I did have an ass load of shotgun shells. Don't think. You just melted it into a pile of goo. <laughs> yep. And then he dropped the dog tag. Oh, he dropped the first one. Yep. For most people, that's the first dog tag on the line. Yeah. And it requests them know that there's more. Oh, ooh, there's a gold. There's a health pack. Those really is gold. But they're much more rare than the A's. For obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah. Get a ladder. Be defeated by a ladder. Yes, med kit. Only thing that would make the movement system in this game a bit better would be like if I could slide down the ladder. That is a super big deal. Hey, let's see how fucked up you are. Huh. You know, surprisingly not as fucked up as I thought you would be. Mostly just bloody. He's a ginger. Oh. Slice. Come on. Health kit. Like 
<laughs> oh god, like fucking Dead Space 1 where the game tries to force open the elevator. Oh yeah, I remember that. And then he gets his arm stuck by the elevator. <laughs> Run, Isaac! Run! I guess it's a, a sequel I'm looking forward to uh, Dying Light 2. I still need to play the first one. I'll play it eventually. Box. What's in the box? What is ever in a box? Apparently more IV drugs. Well, I thought funny because these are all ID patches. Just Excellent! Like, a perfect Bob shot of our hero who himself. destroyed the monster. Travis. <laughs> You're from Special Forces, right? You came to destroy this facility. I'm Travis Miller, freelance journalist. Uh, I've been investigating this facility for five years. Something suspicious like, about this yeah, place. This I finally hard. managed yeah. to sneak in, and all of a sudden, I I'm in a horror I'm movie. A what the hell happened or here? B, Answer me. Uh, the they didn't the tell you anything? Yeah. There was an accident here. A big one. Where the hell was an accident? What kind? They lost control of something they were researching here. Probably some bio-weapon. I'm going to ground facility building B. How do I get there from here? Oh, oh, that's where your friends are, huh? This could be another chance for a big scoop. Are you gonna tell me or not? Hey, take it easy. Go out into the snow field and look for the bright lights. They look like stadium lights. You can't miss them. The building under the light without an awning is building B. But find the control room first. And you also might want to hang on to this. It's his card. Now, if you don't mind, I'll keep looking around. I'm going to get the story of the century here. Oh my gosh, he just gave you his business card? Wow. Hey, at least he didn't hand me his mixtape. What a tool. <laughs> At least he didn't hand me his mixtape. He did have a tape. Actually, it's useful because it has little information about the base. Yeah. He basically, it's what he was writing his notes on it. Like, basically the winter gear that you require to survive. And I think you'll freeze to death if you don't have it. Uh. If you stay out in the cold for too long. And it's basically how to get around. The control room in the back is connected to the water filtration plant. What you got to say to me? To get to building B, start from the snowfield and look for the bright lights. You'll notice a control room on the way. Head there first. Yeah, I'll just use this ammo. There's a save station behind me. Man, I burned through ammo. Then again, I, I have a habit of trying to kill everything. Save terminal. Alright, so this is where we're going to wrap up. We'll pick up tomorrow for some more Drunk Souls. Hope you all had a good one. Peace out.